Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, part two on the short bus build we're doing here on our TRX4M with a couple of Defender bodies if you're just tuning in now. Anyhow, we've got the layout we want done, stretch it out. We added, like we said in the last uh, part of the video, the 50 millimeter chunk on the rear. Um, we just measured out 50 mils, cut it off, glued it in together. Um, I have attached the roof solid to the body, helped tie everything all together. Um, it doesn't need to be in separate pieces. Plus, with the paint job we're going to do on it, um, the camel kind of trophy truck or whatever, it's all one color with black details and such on it. Uh, so it's easier just to attach it right to the body directly. Uh, we got the window pieces in. We did that last video. We're just going through cleaning up a couple things. Now we did make a styrene plate. Jesse made that for me when I was doing a bunch of sanding and fitting for the front. Uh, we took the piece of the hood. I don't know where it is in this mess of parts, but we took the little piece of the hood that we cut out and we outlined that for the back side, flipped it over, outlined that for the inside. We actually outlined this on the inside. I should have went on the outside, took a little bit of sanding to get it to fit, and then we just glued it in there. I'm in the process now of kind of sanding it uh, down, kind of fade it right in around the edges, make it look like it's not even there. A little bit of fill, nobody will see that. It'll look fantastic. Uh, windows, that was kind of a cool little fun exercise because we had two units, so we cut the front half like so, and the back half like that. So they're gonna fit into the body just like that. So you get all of your four windows down each side, your top windows up here where they go. Everything's gonna fit. This will bolt to the back. These will bolt here, these will bolt here. Everything is gonna work out great. Um, the next thing we need to do is make a couple of holes right at the bottom of the front window frame. You're gonna to wanna to make the holes right below where these two kind of seam lines are right on the front corner there. Um, same size as this square hole right back there. If you can kind of do it a little bit angle, we're gonna drill a small hole, use a hobby knife to cut that out so we can get our cage to fit back on in the front. And then from there, we can decide where we cut it which is probably gonna be right at this seam here. But kinda of have a little bit of poking around we need to do yet. Um, a little bit of work figuring it out yet. It would be nice to have a bar that runs all the way across this section back to here. I know there's supposed to be a bar that drops down to here, so maybe we'll make that guy come up attached to this crossbar and then run back through. A little bit of work to do, but we do have two sets, even more of these actually, so we can cut that up and make that work. So, um, yeah, so there's not much to film about cutting this up. We'll come back and show you the end result, just like we've done with all these pieces to help speed the build video up for you guys. Uh, I'm gonna finish sanding this out, go put it in primer and come back uh, for filler. We really didn't need any. As you can see, all our glue lines and our cut lines were done nicely. If you mark everything, cut patiently, and use very nice uh, tools like this Tamiya razor saw. Uh, for the larger straight cuts, we of course use our larger razor saw. Cut everything slowly, and you really won't need any filler. Glue it all back together, everything looks good. We're gonna need a little bit in the front. We'll come back in, um, not sure what I'm gonna use right now. I have to check what I have right now. Um, I know I have a two part Tamiya that you mix together, but it takes 24 hours to dry. So I'm gonna see what we have in a quick set or something. We'll uh, pop back in with an update in a few seconds on that. So anyhow, we'll see you guys back when this is primered and uh, ready for paint. Okay guys, there you go. We have our uh, stretched out Defender looking pretty good. It's not 100% perfect. Remember, I didn't use any filler on it. We just did some really nice close cuts. Um, it's gonna be kind of a shelf thing. We're not gonna really run it too much, but anyhow, fun little project coming together. I do got the windows popped in. A little bit of finesse and just kind of get those to finish in. I did have to cut the three little tabs off the top of the roof that kind of come down and pin the windshield in because you're supposed to put the windshield in. Then the roof on, we ended up gluing it all together just to make it more structurally sound. Um, very happy with it. There's a small little gap there that didn't really take paint well, but um, once the cage and everything goes on, it's going to look epic. Um, 
I did have to drill the holes in the front fender right down there. Sorry guys, Jesse had to go to work, so I'm just finishing this up. Uh, but there's a little hole bottom of the fender right there to line up for the cage to drop in. And I just need to map out a little hole there for the snorkel. And we went ahead and stretched out the cage by using the two we had. Um, just do some measuring, cutting, just to kind of fit the back half on the front. We did kind of a staggered offset cut. Um, top ran to here, the bottom came back to here. We do, uh, we did manage to keep the window bars in, um, everything we wanted, so it looks pretty good. I'll actually go grab that and throw that on, and we can start assembling it, put the fenders back in, all that other jazz. Start making it look pretty cool again. Now I used a Tamiya Cali yellow, and it's not really the right color, so it's kind of a school bus color. <laughs> And it kind of looks like a school bus, so. But hey, it's starting to look pretty cool. Here we go, pop those little fenders on. I like it. Get that black cage on there. Um, I am gonna paint the gutter rail black really quickly before I put the cage onto it. And uh, we'll see you guys back here in just a few seconds when I get that cage mounted onto it and we can show you kind of what we did for that. Uh, we went over sanded it. I just have it painted in the booth right now in TS6 matte black. So see you in a few seconds. Okay guys, there you go, another sweet little custom build. Um, yeah, it was actually a lot of fun, uh, just something we wanted to do as a little side project, a little filler. Uh, we got some cool stuff coming up right away. Uh, we just wanted to kind of do, want, wanted to do this for a while. I bought the parts and um, just got to get it done, right? So very happy how it turned out. Uh, the camel yellow didn't turn out the yellow that we were hoping at all, it's just just yellow looks like a little school bus so we'll call this guy the short bus might change the direction the decals maybe we'll just do short bus decals on and run them uh we put them onto our other chopped up defender body uh chassis uh the fully loaded one now with the fury tech brushless and stuff in there that we did in another video um things pretty awesome so uh yeah a little bit of chopping a little bit of cutting two bodies a little bit of time you can have yourself a cool little custom love the way the front came out on it um, I get a couple stickers to put on it and stuff like that to finish it off fully, but yeah, that short little nose on the front, I've always liked the way that looks when they're done cleanly. That little filler plate in the front worked out nice, so we added little door handles in the front for the front doors, if you would. There's not much left there, so um, yeah, stay tuned. We'll have some running video of this guy up very soon. We are just working on our outdoor crawl course. Yeah, the whole package works good, even a little hitch on the back. I really like the way it uh, looks like that, actually. It's gonna be fun wheeling that around. I like the little Utamog kind of camper defender look to it. So anyhow, guys, we'll see you back here on the next one. Lots of exciting stuff coming up. This is just a little personal project that I wanted to get banged up. <laughs> Cheers, see you guys soon.